it's Jaden. Welcome back to the new normal. This week's theme is review. And when I was thinking about what I wanted to review, I was at Target with my friend and I came across the As Seen on TV section, which I don't know, I've kind of just passed it up this whole time, but there is so much stuff in that section. I don't know how I've missed it, but I came across two products that I really wanted to review for you guys and just test out. So that is what I'm going to be reviewing. I have the Finishing Touch Flawless Flawless facial hair remover. So I think this is like the peach fuzz type thing for your face. Then, and I just have a nice little mirror for that. Then, the comfy. I'm so excited. It's like a giant blanket, but it's like a sweatshirt. And it's one size fits all. So I think it's gonna be like humongous, but that makes it extra comfy. So, we're just gonna test out both of these things and I'll let you guys know how they work and if I would recommend just to give you all my overall thoughts and opinions. So without further ado, let's review these items. So I'm gonna start off with the facial hair remover and I have my little mirror right here that's shaped as a pineapple to help me see what I'm doing. And I was just looking at the box to just see what was included and everything and it says battery included because I don't know, I was really hoping that I didn't forget to buy batteries, but that's a bonus because sometimes you open things and you forget that you don't need batteries, so that's a plus. So I'm just gonna open it. It says gentle on all skin types and there's a built-in light, which is, that's fun. It says hair will not grow back thicker, guaranteed. So if my hair grows back thicker, I'm suing. Yeah, I'm just gonna rip the box. So inside, let's see what we have here comes with instructions because otherwise I wouldn't know what I'm doing, so that's good. Um, it's a pretty color, it's rose gold, I think. Don't know what this is, it's a nice little bristle brush. Here's the battery that was mentioned before. So here's the actual tool itself. It seems kind of intimidating, I don't know, like it literally, I don't, like, if I didn't have directions, I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> um, so it says, use in circular motion. Okay, that's, okay, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see how we do this. Remove the flawless cap. There we go, that's where the battery goes. Okay, and then just, that's it, maybe, I think, okay. Um, how to use. Slide the switch located on the side of the unit to on. This is awkward, okay. Got it. The light will automatically turn on when it's on. Correct. It says it should not be on an angle. Okay, I don't, I kind of, I don't, like, I don't know what else you can do to just prepare yourself for this. I think you just kind of have to go for it. I have to, I don't know where I want to do it. I was thinking about where I wanted to do it and um, I came to the conclusion that I want to make my eyebrows look like they did in seventh grade when I found a tweezer and made myself a nice little half eyebrow. So I'm not actually gonna do that, don't worry. I think I wanna just try like right here, I guess. I feel like that would be like a gentle area, I guess. I don't know. So I'm just gonna have a nice little light and we're just gonna go in circular motions. I don't really know like how hard I have to like go. Okay, I'm trying to find like one specific hair and then like trying to go over it and see and like see if it's gone. So otherwise I don't really know how to prove if it's working. So I have to kind of just like eyeball it, I guess. Maybe go like above the eyebrow, like on the forehead. Okay, wait, yeah. Since I'm not really able to easily prove it on my face, I'm gonna pick a spot on my arm and see if I can see like a circle like without hair there. So I'm just gonna pick a spot like right here. Just like go, I guess. Yeah, wait, okay. I need to like use the light. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely like a circle of hair gone right there. Dang, okay, yeah, it's like pretty like even actually too. I'm not sure if you can really tell, but here's where I did it. There's just kind of like a little square area right here that I went around and you can definitely tell a difference in person. I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but for sure there is a difference where there is not hair there. Overall, I think that I'd give this probably like an eight out of 10. It's really easy to use and the instructions were pretty straightforward and it's pretty, it's rose gold, so that's a plus. But 
the only downside is you can't really like there's not like a way that you can see how much hair has come off so you can't really be like 100 percent sure that it's working obviously like if you do it on your arm then you can tell but it's, if it's on your face like the lighting can just like look different and it could look like the hair is gone i guess upon further inspection you actually can take the little hair remover top off and you can see on the inside and the hair that is in there so my only downside is no longer a downside so i would actually give this a 10 out of 10. perfect and like i said before the second product that i'm reviewing is the sweatshirt little blanket the comfy so i got it in the navy color they have it in a few colors i think they have it in gray navy pink and what looks like I can't tell if it's like a light green or if it's just like a gray still, but pretty basic colors, like neutral, so it's kind of fun. My first choice obviously would have been pink, but the only one they had in store was the navy, so I went with the navy. And I'm really excited to use this because I am always cold. My outfit of choice lately has been an oversized t-shirt and athletic shorts and then just bringing a blanket with me. But if I can have this as like my go-to outfit and I don't have to bring a blanket around with me anymore, that would be ideal. I'm hoping that this is a success. I don't really know what could go wrong with it, but you never know these days. Okay, the inside, okay. The inside is like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like the Sherpa material, right? That's what that's called, I think. Let's go out and take it out and then. I know there's blankets like this at Costco where it's like the double-sided ones where it's like soft on one side and then the inside's like the Sherpa fur type of material and that's what this is the inside is like the fur and then the outside is like the soft kind of like double sided stuff so the only my only concern about this is that it's supposed to be like one size fits all so i don't know if it's going to be like humongous or if it's going to be like it's kind of just like a sweatshirt i don't know so we'll have to see on that one it looks pretty big which makes me really excited because i love oversized stuff Oh my gosh, this is literally huge. And there's a hood, which is nice. And there's a front pocket, so you don't have to like hold all your things when you're in a giant blanket sweatshirt thing. Oh, so I think the only thing left for me to do is put it on. I don't really know how else I would review it without that, so. Here is the comfy on. It's actually the like, not like perfect size because I'm small, but like literally I see how this could be one size fits all. It honestly could fit pretty much anybody. I can see my sisters drowning in this, but they really want to try it. As soon as I brought it home, they really wanted to try it. And I have been waiting to put this on since I got it. And I'm just going to say it does not disappoint. It is genuinely so warm. Oh, I am never going to take this off ever. All of the reviews that I read before this said basically, I don't know how I lived without it before. And that's probably going to be my mindset too. I don't know. This might be my go-to school outfit. I don't know, like cute, I guess, maybe, IDK. It's big enough so I can like take my arms out of the sleeves and just like be in a nice little ball. Oh my gosh, this was only $30. So if anyone has been debating getting this or doesn't, hasn't even seen this before, go buy yourself one of these now. You will not regret it. And my only concern was that, well, that I was concerned that it was gonna be like the wrong size, but I was also concerned that my hair was gonna be like insanely staticky with like this material, but so far, I'm doing okay. So, oh, like I'm trying to make it sad again, it's just like not, we're doing fine. So overall, 10 out of 10. The only thing that would have made this better is if I got it in pink, but that wasn't an option. So. Thank you guys so much for watching my review video this week on the new normal. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and leave a comment down below letting me know if there's any as seen on TV products that you think I should try or that you're dying to try. So I'll see you guys next week on The New Normal. Bye.